seeking Tom for everyone. Get lost in the presence of God. Oh, oh yes. Get lost in the presence of God. Thank Him for life. Thank Him for good health. did not make it this day. They had so many plans. But they died in their sleep. So my baby go woke up. But died by taking a shower. Or while just driving or something. Maybe an accident. But you are here. It's not because you are better than them. It's not because you are more righteous. Hey! It's not because you are the best father or mother. Or the one that prays the most. Some of them pray very well. It's because God has given you more time.
keep me in your presence always. We can't get enough of you, Father. You are always taking care of us daily. Providing for us. Feeding us. Protecting us. Ah. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We are grateful, Lord. We thank you for everything, Lord. Speak in tongue now.
protection. Thank you for the job that we have. Thank you for all you have done for us. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for loving us.
tried to cut your hair. Dogs came. Animals came. Tried to bite you in your dream. Many things came. But they did not succeed. Because Jesus is protecting you. Hey! I say he is so good. Oh. He is so good. Oh. You woke up. And you thought that everything was just so easy. <laughs> all the evil arrows. All those dangerous things. They didn't get to touch you. Because of the protection. That you have from Jesus. He is so good. Oh. He is so good. Oh. Sometimes people just think that everything is so easy. Oh, it's because I'm so smart. It's because I'm so careful. It's because I'm just good like that. That's why none of this thing is happening to me. Hey, don't talk like that. Uh -huh. The people that it happened to, some of them are smarter than you, more careful than you. But they still got afflicted. Your case is different. Because Jesus is protecting you. He is so good. Jesus is so good. He is so good. Even your children. Other children. They are failing in school. But none of your children have failed. They're doing well in school. Nobody in the hospital though. <laughs> your children are home with you. They are healthy. Nobody is using a breathing thing to breathe. No child has sickness that other parents are crying about. Are you better than them? No. Jesus is too good. Oh. He's so good, oh. Jesus is so good, oh. He's so good, oh. There are some adults. They can't take care of themselves. Somebody is taking care of them. Somebody is feeding them. Is painting them. Is lifting them from chair to bed. From bed to chair. But you. You do everything by yourself. Hey. I say Jesus is so good to you. He is so good to you. He is so good to you. You are not suffering from sickness that others are suffering from. When was the last time you went to the doctor? You don't even remember. God is good to you. Worship him.
wish my mother was here. I wish I had family. I wish I was not abandoned. I wish I'm not the only one. Oh. I say, God, Jesus is too good. Oh. Too good. Oh. I say, too good. Oh. I 
that you are blessed. Jesus is so good, oh. He is so good, oh. You go to school, you pass all your exams. Some people have taken an exam more than five times, they can't pass it. But you, that's not the case. Every time you take an exam, you are so confident that you will pass it and you come out doing well. Why are you confident? Because I said Jesus is too good, oh. He made you smart. He made you smart. Some people cannot even understand anything. They can't retain anything in their memory. But you, you can read and retain. You have a good memory. The kind of things you do, people are amazed. How do you know this? Because Jesus is too good, oh. Jesus is too good, oh. He is too good, oh. I say he is too good, oh. Father, we appreciate you so much. Especially on this Father's Day. We celebrate you. You are a good Father. You have done so much for us. We can't even begin to tell it all. But the ones we can remember, we say thank you, Father. Thank you for all you have done. We know we didn't deserve it, but you did it anyway. Because you are too good, oh. You are too good, oh. You are too good, oh. You are too good. I said you are too good, oh. You are too good, oh.
Happy Father's Day, God. Happy Father's Day, Holy Spirit. Ah, hey, I say you are too good. Somebody say it, hey. I say he is too good. Jesus, you are too good. I say you are too good. Jesus, he is too good. He is too good. See, you know, whenever I come on this keyboard, I don't know what to say. I don't plan anything to say. He just puts the words in my mouth. This is what I'm saying. He makes everything I do perfect. Because he is so good. He put words in my mouth. He didn't help me to talk right now. Because I don't even know what to say. But he never lets me to be embarrassed or be put to shame. He makes me shine always. Ah, oh my God. He is so good. Oh. He is so good. Oh. Jesus is so good. Oh. Jesus is so good. Oh. I say, Father is so good. Oh, he is so good. Oh. He is so good. Oh. He is so good. Oh. I say, Jesus is so good.
Even those watching online, he said, Your request has been granted. Hey, he said, Their request has been granted. I heard it so clearly. Do you know God loves when we worship? I said, When we worship, miracles happen when we worship. He said, I should tell you, Your request has been granted. So begin to celebrate now. Begin to celebrate now. This God is so good. Oh. Look at him blessing us already. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> He's always blessing us. He just bless you right now. He said rejoice. 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 He has just blessed you again. He has just blessed you again. He has just blessed you again. I told you that he is so good. He just bless you again. <laughs> oh, Father, I love you. Eh? <laughs> I love you too much. <laughs> I tell them, I'm telling them, I say you are too good. <laughs> oh, you just bless them again. He said, begin to rejoice. I say, rejoice. He wants you to rejoice. Eh? Oh, Papa, 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 he said you should rejoice. Hey, rejoice. Ah. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Hey, Papa, you are too good. Oh. Papa, you are too good. Eh? You are too good. Eh? Always blessing your children. Always blessing your children. Always blessing your children. Just because you are worshipping him oh, and you are thanking him. And now he is blessing you. Ha. Papa, you are too good. Oh. Are you rejoicing? Ha. Hey! You saw how we were fellowshipping yesterday. And some of you decide to come today. This is how we are doing it here. He said, Rejoice! Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice! Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice! Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. You have received. I say rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Even those watching online, begin to celebrate Jesus. Because he is so good. He has blessed you again. See how simple it was? You just appreciated him for all he did. And he blessed you again. He never stops blessing us. You are too good. Eh? 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 takes control. How are you? How, how are you so far? I see got my face crying. <laughs> Don't go online. I hope you guys. Amen. Oh my God. I hope you guys were blessed. Amen. Wow. We just came from Father's Day lunch with my daddy and um, my folks here. And look at what happened. Freestyling. Jesus is so good. Oh. Every day is like I'm singing new song, new release. This is the fourth day, right? Since playing this keyboard. And we've released how many songs? In case you guys are not aware, we have uh, my songs on... Um, I'm sharing the video. I forgot to share. Everybody, make sure you share. If you haven't shared, share, share, share. On SoundCloud. Uh, and I post it in the comment section. So that they can um, get it. Uh -huh. Post it and pin it. Let's see. Oh, it's very loud. Great job. Post it and pin it so that they can listen to all my songs. 
It's just gonna, it can play non-stop. You just let it play. I think you can also download for free. I'm not sure. I'm not trying to make money off of it. All my, we've loaded almost how many? How many have we loaded, Andra? 13 for now. We are putting a lot of my worship um, from my programs together. There are some that you guys really like, so um, we're trying to make you have it. You can just play, we'll just play all day, finish from one, and we'll go to the next. Because a lot of you have been requesting that we do that, so. I see, it's Jesus, he's too good, eh? See, how is bless you. I like this song, though. Ah, we need to put on a CD now. Maybe so. Ah, somebody say you flow protect, protect, prophetically. God bless you, sweetie. It is well. Soundcloud.com slash Princess Belenzi. God bless all of you. So today, you know, we're getting ready for our seven days fasting. For those of you watching online, I'm trying to see if I can see the, the comments. Uh, okay. Somebody said the Soundcloud post at the, at, at the best. That she slept on it last night. Oh, really? Wow. So you can now. Wow. Wow. Okay. So they are getting it now. Great. Thank God for that. So we're going to be starting a seven days fasting. Um, uh, what's it called? From <laughs> tomorrow. My God. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it's going to be dry fasting. I mean, we can do, look at them, look at them. <laughs> Let me even see the comment. How many of you online can do dry fasting? Over here, how many of you can do... Wait, who is holding my camera? I want you to see. We just have my workers here and a few people that just stopped by at the studio. Let us know who can do dry. My mother, I know she can do. Don't just raise your hand. We will check up with you. So we have B.O. We have... Ah, Janelle Favor. Can you do it? Mommy's wife. Seven days dry. No food. Only water. She says she can do it. You two can do it. My mommy can do it. Andra, Chris is hiding her face. <laughs> mommy, I didn't see your hand though. <laughs> Jene, are you able to do it? Jene, enter that camera, stand over there, let them see you. Can you do it? She's scratching her head. <laughs> she said, <laughs> I don't know. I have faced me back. See, see people online, let me see. They say, yes, yes, me, I can do it. Okay, let's see. A lot of people say they can do it. <laughs> it is well. Well, God told me that we should do dry, but this is how it goes. You know, even when we did the three days dry, a lot of you did not do dry. A lot of you still did six to six. A lot of you did to 12. Some of you didn't fast, but you still prayed with us. So everybody do as you can. Some of you can probably do three days dry in between you eat 6 p.m. to another two. You know, like break it like that. But some of us will, will strive for seven days. I've done seven days before. In um, 2017, group fast and a lot of people did it. Some of them are still watching me. We didn't eat for seven days. We only drank water and it was so powerful. We had so many encounters. And just a few days ago, while I was on my bed meditating, I saw Jesus walk into my closet. And then God told me, he said, for, me, for you to get into that inner room, you need to fast. Are you listening? So that fasting can take you deeper. Like it can take you to that inner room. That's that, that deep, deep, deep place that you need to go with God. When you fast, your flesh becomes weak, right? And your spirit is very alert. And it's like when you fast, the body, the flesh is disappearing and the spirit is taking over. Your senses are becoming sharper. Like in this studio, we've been having a lot of encounters. Even now, I'm sure she had an encounter. She started looking at me in a strange way. You were looking at me weird. What were you seeing when you were looking? Come, come, come. Come and see. We've been having so much encounter here. And I was telling them, I said, imagine when you join this fast. What kind of encounter do you have? Tell me what you saw. Um, I saw a rainbow. A rainbow from coming from your office up and down around you and then went up there so i was wondering and they said follow the rainbow so i said i followed the rainbow but then for a second i took my eyes from there and then again i just saw like thousands of soldiers 
walking on the rainbow, coming down. Wow. <laughs> That's what I saw. Cause there was the way she was looking at me, like <sighs> <laughs> when I was singing. So I knew that because she she always sees things. My girls, all of them are beginning to see things now. There's, there's no way you will come work with me or be in this kind of atmosphere and your eyes won't open. So now they are seeing all this. Just imagine if they were really fasting. Not only will they see, they will they will even start to prophesy. Like there's so many gifts that you get. See, this is between you and God. You don't have to do it. You understand? I've also helped a lot of people fast in this. Uh, most people never knew how to fast before they started watching my videos. Even my this wife was saying it, right? She said, you didn't know anything about... You said it yesterday when you came. That you didn't know anything about fasting, dry fasting or anything. That it was in this ministry. There are thousands of people like that. Some of them never thought they could stay away from food for one day. Not to do three days, no food. And they didn't die. They were actually happy. Whenever we complete a fast, the excitement there, eh? we did it, you know, like it's something that they have accomplished. And after that, do you know they don't struggle with fast again? So there is nothing too hard for you to do. You can do all things through Christ. If you can say, yes, I can do it, Jesus will enable you. He will strengthen you. He will help you completely. Look at me now. I have been desiring to play keyboard and sing. Because sometimes I just flow in tongues or just flow. And I told Pastor Isaac, I said, ah, God, can't wait to get my own keyboard. I don't know, but I, I know that I will play. Do you know God made it happen after I got this studio, bought this expensive keyboard? Came back in Bahamas, I know God decorated me with so much because that was a very hard program for me. And we had so many encounters. I was just telling them, Janelle was playing and they were singing. I said, okay, let me come and do my own. Nobody taught me, oh, I've never played before. I just started doing something and it was sounding good. Bam. The first day I was putting my eyes steadily on the key. If you watch the video, as I'm playing, I'm looking to make sure I don't miss it. Second day, I didn't look much. Yesterday was third day. I didn't even look at all. I was closing eye to just three days and my hand is moving by itself. Today now, and every time I come on here, new, new songs flow. Hey, I did not say I can't. I desired it. I prayed about it. And God made it possible. So if you want to join the fast, desire it. Tell God that you need that strength to do it. I was telling one of my girls, I said, do you know angels can feed you in your sleep? You will sleep and wake up. You were hungry when you went to sleep. You wake up, you're not hungry. Sometimes fasting is like that. If you start feeling too hungry, take a nap. I'm telling you from experience. One hour nap and wake up, that hunger will be subsided. Or bless one water, drink. Or just listen to a good message. Or worship. Or read the Bible. Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone. And it's true because these few days that we started this studio, yesterday I didn't eat till almost what time? 11 or 12. I didn't want to eat, but because of the fast, I said, let me not start fasting before the fast, because seven days is already long. So let me eat. We were worshiping. I played keyboard one, three times yesterday, right? We did one, we did another long one, the Father's Day one. <laughs> I wasn't hungry. Just imagine that I'm in that atmosphere seven days in a row. Have you ever imagined what Jesus Christ did? Like, how did he do it? I think you should face this camera here so that they will see me. Because I'm looking at the audience. It's like I'm, it's like I'm not looking at the, their faces. Sorry, guys. I'm not even reading your um, comments. I'm just talking to the few people I have in the studio. Have you ever sat down to think, how did... Like, yeah, face it this way so you can see me. Hey. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see me. Is the video dark a little bit? It goes off and on. So it looks like that um, thing is on, right? Auto. You didn't remove it. Chai. It goes dark and on. Chai. Janelle has spoiled my video. What happened to the studio lights now? Is it better there? No, it's better here. Let's see. Leave it like because I'm facing them. It's better to look this way. Okay. No problem. So now, 
Have you ever sat down to think, how did Jesus do 40 days? Like, seriously, don't just read the Bible. <laughs> you are complaining about one day, two days, three days. How do you think? Or you say, well, it's Jesus. Maybe, <laughs> maybe something happened. Or maybe, maybe he went to heaven, ate and came back. Some of it, like, has anyone really thought about that story? What was he doing for 40 days during that time? It's good to always think. That's when the Holy Spirit starts to give you revelation, teach you. He spent more time with God. He was studying the word or he was praying. You know, like you start getting ideas and then you do those things. You don't know. If you are thinking of food only, you can't fast. If you are reading Bible, getting revelation, praying, sleeping, dreaming dreams, and God is telling you something. I told my girl, I said, guess what? What if you go to sleep? What happened? What if you go to sleep? On your third day of fasting, your third day, the dry fasting, your, what, my, day three, and in your dream, Jesus appears and sits down one-on-one -on -one and tells you some things about your life. And tells you that he will be back again in two days. Don't stop fasting. When you get up from that sleep, will you be hungry? No. <laughs> they say no. No, no, I'm serious. So he will say, and the things he told you, because maybe you've been looking for direction. Because a lot of people are looking for direction. And it's a clear dream. It's not like you woke up for God forgetting. And everything he told you, you wrote it down, and you are excited, anxiously waiting for two days, which will make it day five. First of all, all the un hunger will disappear. You will be so excited, wanting to tell people your encounter. Maybe he told you to read some scriptures that when it comes, you will discuss the scriptures. Right? The way you read that scripture, eh? expecting his visit. Right? And then he comes on that five, day five. And you talk and he said, I'll be back in two days. And you've never had an encounter with Jesus. This is your first time. Would you be hungry for the next two days? <laughs> Chris is saying no. No, I'm serious. Because there's something to look forward to. And this is not just any visit. This is Jesus we're talking about. Telling you about your life. Like... Long dream, not short dream. Meaning hunger is in the mind sometimes. I'm just saying. You say no with very confident, you're very confident no, meaning you can actually control it. Right? Because if temptation comes, you're like, <laughs> please, I'm waiting for Jesus. Even if they cook, you can even be in the kitchen where they're cooking. I say, no problem, eat. When I finish all I have to do with Jesus, I will come and eat you. Meaning, you have power over this mind. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Meaning, you can say food, you will be alright. You know they run. Let me have my encounter. I need to know about my life. I have suffered too much. It's like you have shut down hunger. You use, you have the power to do that really. You decide, you see when on day one, headache will start. Big headache or fasting. How many of you normally experience headache? Like your first day. <laughs> it's like somebody is hitting hammer on your head. Some people have said, you know what, please, I don't want to die. Let me eat. And then they feel bad after. Some people have said, Satan, you're a liar. I will continue. The next day, they don't even feel the headache. They overcame. This is what I'm saying. Because most times, some people will do three, four days and they go and break it. And they start feeling bad. Like they feel depressed. Like, how could I have gotten halfway? <laughs> and I, that feeling is even bad. It can even bring back whatever demon left within those first three days. Why do you want to feel like that? What if I told you Jesus always visits you? But maybe you don't remember your dreams. Or maybe you don't know it's Jesus. You're like, oh, I saw a woman of God in the dream. And she was giving me instructions. She told me not to do this. Oh, I told a woman of God in the dream. She laid hands on my forehead. I woke up feeling good. 
what if I told you all that time you see me is Jesus you see? How many of you have seen me in your dream before? A lot of people. Even unbelievers. The woman that I get my dresses from, she's from another religion. She see me, she says she sees me almost every night in her dream. There was one time she said her father died. She had to go to her country to take him to her country and she had no money. She doesn't know who run the business and all that. And she said that night she slept and I appeared in the dream. And I tap her on the shoulder. I said, Don't worry, go. Everything will be alright. She called me my angel. You guys have heard that now. She said, My angel. She's she's not Christian. She covers her body like she's from another religion. Do you know she went because she she believed she actually believes in Jesus. You know, through me and my relationship with her. She went. Do you know? <laughs> God used me to bless her. Few days later, she asked me. She said, um, "You know, she she was telling me that she, you know, if I can help her, that she immediately I said, come, come get it.' I even she wanted only like a thousand or two thousand, and that whenever I want dresses, I can take it from that money. I gave her. I said." Is that all you want? When she came to my house. It's raining. Today I've been raining all day. I said, is that all you want? She said, um, you've helped me too much. I said, no, tell me. My spirit is telling me you need 3,000. She said, yes. Yes. I said, okay, I'll give you 3,000. And then whenever I need dresses, you give me. She said, do you know I saw you in my dream and you tapped me on my shoulder and you said I should go. Everything will be fine. I said, really? She said, I see you almost every day in my dream. I'm just telling you. She's seen Jesus. Not me. This is what I'm saying. So some people are saying, I want to have an encounter with Jesus, but they are having an encounter and they don't even know. I'm just preparing you guys that will be fasting because Jesus told me that you will have, as I was saying, as I was about to say that, you will have, I heard that all of you would have encounter with him during this seven days fast. I was about to say you will have, I heard it clearly, all of you will have encounter. This is a different kind of fast. This is a fasting that will bring people to realize who they are supposed to be. To, to be discovered. I was meditating a few days ago and God told me the title of the fast. He said, Lord, make me useful. I preached a message in Bahamas with a lady by the well. That Jesus was telling her to bring her husband. She said she's not married. And how she became useful. And she started to. Uh oh. I was actually enjoying it. You guys don't want me to. I was enjoying this scandal. Ah. Okay. So. The woman. I'm going to preach it today when we do the first prayer line. But let me give you an intro. So this woman. Married five times. John chapter 4. Read it. The Samaritan woman. By the way, five times marriage. Hey, I've never seen anybody in this real life that has married five times. I've seen like two or three, but not five. And currently, have a man that is not a husband about to make it six time marriage. Hey, if it's this time, they'll say this to my own too much. Ah, they will judge her. But Jesus met with her, she had an encounter with him. And he told me in that program, she became useful. She became an evangelist. Today, Bishop was um, saying something in his church because I went to his church. He said, don't play with women. They are very powerful. It, a woman is the first evangelist in the Bible. Also. The first evangelist is a woman in the Bible. It clicked. When I went to his office, I said, are you talking about the woman, by the way? He said, yes, now. She's the first evangelist. I said, the woman that had five husbands, first evangelist, because she became useful. She became the first person to go and evangelize and bring people to Jesus. So this fast is, Lord, make me useful. Because some of you are just bored every day, wasting away. You don't know what to do. You speak in tongues all the time. <laughs> some of you speak in tongues more than the people. <laughs> I don't even want to say anything that will make you laugh. But some of you, the way you speak in tongues, eh? 
Even the Holy Spirit is telling it to slow down. <laughs> it's too much. But you still are not useful. It's like all you do is speak in tongues. Nothing. You don't see eh? God was speaking to me two days ago. I was looking through some people's profile. He said, This one, she's always bored in the house. This one, she's too idle. She has nothing to do. This one, she's getting depressed. She's not married. And she's just tired. In fact, she's tired of watching the videos. You see what I'm saying? Like people want to do something. But it's like they don't know what to do. Or maybe they are not connected to where they are supposed to be connected to do the thing. Or they just don't have direction. Right? There are some people that are already saved. Like they have hunger to do something. Maybe for God. I'm giving you an example. But they are, they are not doing it. They are not useful yet. This fast, you will have an encounter with Jesus and you will have a clear understanding of what to do. The moment she had an encounter, Jesus told her, go and get your husband. Meaning, go get the man you are living with. But after the encounter, she knew exactly what to do. She went to get the people. The men in the town. She didn't even go to her house to get the man. She lives with. She did more. Hey, she brought more people. Once you discover your usefulness or who you are, you will do beyond what Jesus is asking you to do. And she did it with so much joy. You understand? It, this is what this fast will do. He said, all of you will have an encounter with him. Meaning, that encounter, it's not me that will tell you what to do with your life. I can always help you, lead you to Jesus, but it's better you get it straight from him. You get the understanding from him, the knowledge from him, the revelation from him, the vision from him. Because when he tells you, some of you, you don't know if where you're living is where you're supposed to live. Maybe some of my girls and even my protocol officer, even my assistant, they're all move, moving to Houston. If they did not have direction, they will still be in those places where they are. Thinking, where we should, should we live? Should we live here? Should, but they had clear leading, clear dreams, clear revelation that they need to be in Houston. So they were moving knowing that they are moving to the right place. Not moving and guessing. Maybe we'll just stay here and manage and then we'll find the next place to go. You know, some people are like, let's just stay here, you know, for now. They knew that this is where they needed to go. So some of you, you need that kind of direction so you can become useful. So this fast, we are seeking the face of God. And you know how we do our own, we pray four times. We're going to be praying from the studio. I'm not doing the um, prayer line. We're just going to do videos where you will see my workers and whoever comes to pray with us. You will see us praying, walking around praying for the one hour. Me, I'll play keyboard. All of us will be praying together. And then as God gives messages, because now we have a studio, we have upgraded. You don't understand what I'm saying? So we're doing things in an upgraded way. And now we can actually show it on so many of our platforms so on social media. We are on Periscope, Princess Belemzi. We are on YouTube, Princess Belemzi. Facebook, Princess Belemzi. Twitter, Princess Belemzi. Instagram, Princess Belemzi. SoundCloud, Princess Belemzi. Am I missing anything? Everything you can think of, even the one we have not entered yet, Princess Belemzi. <laughs> the one that we don't have an account yet. Type Princess Belemzi and you will see us there. We are trying to reach the world. You see what I'm saying? Like yesterday, we, I was playing keyboard. My workers were behind me. They were just meditating, enjoying it. And that kind of picture also encourages somebody watching because just seeing how the people behind are speaking in tongues, praying. And that's why some of you came to the studio today because of the video you were seeing. It's not like one-on-one. -on -one. How many one-on-one -on -one prayer you need? How many you need? <laughs> You were missing it. You are like, Chai! they are enjoying in this studio. I must stop by and enjoy with them. It's okay. You can always join us and pray. So what I'm planning to do, we'll be praying mostly from here, the studio. But on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it will be a 12-hour service. 12 to 12. 
will be here in the studio praying. So we'll be doing, when it's time for 12 o'clock prayer, you will see every one of us here praying, walking around, talking. Ba -da -da -ba -sha -ba -da -da -da. You see, maybe one of my girls or somebody or me will lead prayers, will just pray. And then as God gives messages, we'll deliver messages. It will be like church. I'm bringing Minister Philip in. So, you know me, I'm not a professional yet. I can only play one or two things. But he's also coming to teach me how to play keyboard, teach my girls and whoever wants to learn. So yeah, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's going to be white. Everybody wear white. This place is only for 60 people. So those that want to come and have that last three days encounter, you have to call the office and say you are coming, what day you are coming, Friday, Saturday or Sunday. So we can have you down and let you know if Friday is full or Saturday because we cannot take more than like now look at it we're only a few but it looks full already <laughs> my workers and a few of you we don't want this place to be so packed that it will be chaotic so if you know you want to come round up the three days here with us in the studio the other day if you are late to come if we're here you can come we'll let you in but Friday Saturday Sunday everybody will wear white we'll have some long dresses for those that don't have white, you will sow a seed and get it, or you buy your own white. But we have so many angels in this studio, all of them, all of them have seen angels. So white, they blend in with us, and you don't know they are here. So Friday white, Saturday white, Sunday white. It will be pure. And the last day, which is Sunday, we are here to break it together. And I will probably provide, not probably, we will provide food for those here. Since it's fasting seven days, we are not going to give you rice and chicken and goat. We'll give you salad, you know. <laughs> Look at you guys laughing. <laughs> Mommy, you like salad. Now, you know salad you ate today at the place we went to. And we'll give you salad and some tongue one soup and one tongue soup. <laughs> They're laughing. <laughs> you know, we'll give you salad. <laughs> we'll give you salad and then, you know. So that way you will not, because if you don't eat for seven days and you gotta eat apple or fufu, <laughs> you may pass out. <laughs> you don't know that that thing happened to me one day. I fasted and after three days, I'm general, I think I messed up this thing, turn it off and reset it. I fasted and after three days of fasting, I went to eat vegetables, soup, and gari and everything. Guess what happened to me? I was just eating so many things, dry fasting, one of these things. So my, my cousin, Pastor Isaac, and my mother, they were downstairs with me in the living room. I said, let me use the bathroom downstairs. As I entered the bathroom, it's like my whole body became paralyzed. I don't know what happened. I just slept on the floor of the bathroom. My, parent, my mother and Pastor Isaac were talking in the living room. They didn't know that somebody was dying in the bathroom. This thing can kill you. I'm not serious. I'm serious. Almost 40 minutes on the floor of my downstairs toilet. It's like my, it's like I was dying. I started to repent again, just in case. I say, because <laughs> you never know, I say, Father, please, in case I have sinned, eh? anything, <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> you don't know where reality kicks in, you start to check. <laughs> because I'm a woman of God, I have to check things, so I do check it to make sure. My mother said, after like almost 30 minutes, mommy, remember, you now say everything okay. I couldn't even say, I, I couldn't, I, I, my mother said, maybe you ate too much. When I came out, she said, maybe you ate too much. I said, no, I didn't eat too much. I think it's an attack. <laughs> I, think, I think it was an attack. Oh. I didn't eat too much. Oh. But me and you ate too much. I got that three days, no food. I started eating swallow. How can you do that kind of thing? So I'm just telling you guys. So on the last day, we will have food, but it's going to be, it's going to be, you know, just have some milk, some juice, some, some salad. But we'll have food. We'll not encourage you guys. We'll probably have those heavy ones, but you can eat it later. We're going to paste it. We don't want anyone to collapse here. You know what I mean? So we're going to do it like that. So those three days. And then God is leading me to do or 20, please speak that. 24 hours Holy Ghost encounter. <laughs> Look at all of you online laughing at me. <laughs> God bless all of you. Make sure you share. 
I'm going to do a 24 hours Holy Ghost encounter on the weekend of July 4th. So that's um, after this fast, it will be two weeks, like the following two, two weeks. So it's going to be on Saturday, um, 6 a.m. Saturday, the 6th of July. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. is 12 hours, right? Right? Okay, so if you come in the morning, Saturday on July 6th, it's 12 hours. How many of you were here in the last 24 hours I did? Just my workers. Oh, you two, you came. Oh, you were in the choir, right? Did you know you could do it? But you did it. You didn't even feel it at the end. We were dancing, right? So here, we're doing it here in the studio. Because I was thinking God wanted me to do it at the end of the year again. But he said, now you have the studio. You can do whatever you want. You can stay however long you want. I said, yes, it's true. So we can only take 60 people max. So for those that want to be a part of it, when you call the office number, um, let me even see. What's the office number again? Let me give it to them. Because some people may not know it. In case you are listening to this audio, our office number is 832-321-3242. Um, um, Somebody type it. 832-321-3229. 832-321-3229. Somebody type it. That's the um, office um, ad, uh, number. So that way you can call Marvis, Christina, Andra, or Janelle, or Wesu will answer the call and you tell them that I'm planning to come for the 4th of July 24 hour program please can you put my name down they'll get your name and your phone number and that way once we have 60 people we, we have to stop taking people so we cannot let you in unless your name is on the list we are doing this for a reason because we don't want too much overflow it will not make sense so make sure you call and if you're planning to come for the 24-hour service, it's going to be powerful. And nobody is chasing us here. This, it, God is so good. <laughs> Normally when we rent a place, we're in a hurry to leave or something. Or they want to charge for extra hour or something. But man, without mommy, <laughs> God don't bless us. I say, this God is too good. Oh. Don't bless us. I have suffered with venue. Although this is not as big as I wanted, but... I normally have the best encounters in small fellowships. And my studio is just perfect. Angels are so many here. So if you know you want to come, somebody is asking which state is this. This is Houston, Texas. So um, call and then, not now because we are all listening. They are listening to me. But when you call, they will have two lists. One for the fasting. If you want to come for the three days, tell them if you are coming Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Saturday only or Friday. So that we will know how many people we have. And you will make sure you wear white. Okay. I'm just giving you guys this now. So that way you can start making arrangements to come. 24 hours will start on that Saturday morning. Some of you may come into town Friday. Sleep and sleep and sleep. 6 a.m. we start. Till 6 p.m. is 12 hours. Till another 6 a.m. Sunday morning. You know why it's so easy? God gave me so much wisdom. 6 a.m. Saturday, you have already slept Friday. You are waking up 5 a.m., right? So the whole day Saturday, you are good. Because normally during the day, you are awake, right? So by the time you get to 12 midnight of that Saturday, it's 18 hours already. And normally, some of you don't sleep early. You sleep like 1, 2, right? So the remaining 6 hours is where you will be doing, you'll be battling with but you may have, you would have completed a huge part of it. Do you get what I'm saying? So that Friday, you sleep very well. Funny thing is, my girls in the last one I did, the 24 hours, they didn't sleep at all. I told them go and sleep. They said, "Oh no, ma, we'll be fine." They went to the hall, started speaking in tongues. They were setting camera. They did video. Holy Spirit entered them. They started speaking in tongues. Till the program started, they didn't sleep that night. So me, I was worried. I said, Father, hmm, let them not sleep because we need video. They didn't sleep. The only time that Andra probably slept small was when we were having a powerful Holy Ghost encounter and she passed out on the floor. 
And her own, when the thing enter her, it's a total pass out. <laughs> Our camera went dark. They were calling her from the floor. Come out from the spirit. <laughs> Come and help us with the camera. You are like this flat. <laughs> so after that program, she prayed to God. He said, Father, please don't let me pass out like this again. <laughs> so that's the only time I would say she used the opportunity to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but as for my mother and my son, <laughs> mommy, <laughs> mommy is here. So <laughs> mommy, <laughs> my mother is here right now. <laughs> Come on, a clap for my mommy now. Come on now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. My mother and my son. See, see, when I first started the fellowship, I did a prayer. I said, Father, don't let them sleep. How I many of you want me to pray? All of them got to raise their hand. My mother raised her hand. My son raised her hand. I said, you will not sleep till the end of this program. All of them say, amen. I think even when my mom was saying the amen, she was doing, amen. <laughs> <laughs> so guess what? And they sat on the front row doing sleeping competition. Michael was resting on my mother. My mother was resting on my car. <laughs> they will sleep. They will sleep. So, most times, when they want to video it, they are sleeping. I say, please, angle, shoot a different angle. <laughs> my mother can't even help mess up my video course. If we do, big shot. <laughs> How can a whole evangelist mother and son, the two people that are supposed to support me, <laughs> they leave me and sleep <laughs> So when I went to my room at the end of the program, my son was angry. Michael's face was so sad. I said, Michael, what happened? He said, I'm angry at grandma. I said, what happened? He said, she didn't wake me up. She slept the whole night. <laughs> he said, she slept the whole night. She didn't wake me up. I keep waking her up, but she didn't wake me up. <laughs> well, what I say, she means it's trouble. <laughs> he said, she should have woken me up. I missed almost everything. She, she started sleeping, and then I, I became sleepy. And she didn't wake me. The boy, they blame my mother. <laughs> oh, my God. It was so funny. But you see, she tries. My mother, oh, my God. My mother has been in almost... I think everything I've done here in Houston, she's come to. Even when she's traveled once or twice with me. Two years ago, I was still going to Bishop's Church. I wasn't released then. While I was in the church, God told me that I was going to do a, pro, a fellowship the next week Sunday. And as we were leaving the church, I told my mother, in fact, I didn't even have money for it. Right? I didn't have money then for it. But while we were in the church, somebody gave me hundred dollars. You remember that lady that gave me hundred dollars? She came, she came to a fellowship I did. She didn't give offering, so she gave me hundred dollars at the church. So that means God was already providing money for payment of the place, and He told me exactly where to do it. This place. So when I finished from church, I said, "Mommy, God told me to do a fellowship next Sunday. You know, from this time to this time. Can you please drive me? Let's pass through here." Before we go home, let me book the place. So I called the pastor, the guy that used to run here. And we came, me and my mom, we paid him the money and told him we'll give him the rest when we'll come. Little did I know that the next Sunday was Father's Day. All I knew is I heard next Sunday, because me, I don't really know these holidays. Even this Father's Day, I didn't know till like three days ago. Oh, <laughs> I don't really know I heard that it's Father's Day. And I was, when I now found out it was Father's Day, normally I always go out with my father, my family, you know. But I was still excited to do it. The thing is, a lot of people don't come out on Father's Day because they have to take their husbands, their fathers out to a restaurant or somewhere. But I said I will still do it. I was so excited. But anytime I wanted to think of a message, God would tell me, don't worry, I'll give you a message when you get there. Because it's Father's Day, you know. So that day, they were only about the same number here, maybe like 15 people. My mother came. 
My father did not worry. My sister and my brothers, they took him out to eat. Me and my mother came to the fellowship. She said she would follow me to the fellowship. I'm just telling you how she's always been following me, right? So when I came, it was just a few people, but me, I'm more concerned about completing the assignment. So while we were worshiping, God now gave me a message. This is two years ago from today. He said, tell them that they have been celebrating their fathers all day. Have they celebrated me? Their heavenly father. Like did they even put up a pic or post about him or something, you know? Even my mother was there. She said, wow. This hit her so hard. Because she started thinking, she's like, she's never done that. You know, straightly, you just go to your Hi, uh, happy father's day to my father or to my husband. You hardly say happy father's day to Jesus or something. That's why you see me, I did a a, um, a recording early morning saying happy father's day Jesus people were crying I have the video on Facebook I'll share it or something they thought about it it was like it's true oh yeah he's our number one father we should celebrate him first before anyone and that was the message so it was so amazing that yesterday while I was playing the keyboard it came back to me I said oh this is two years from now look at from then, look at what, what I'm doing. This place is now mine. A place that I had to pay to do a Father's Day program. I am actually now the owner of it. Wow. And I can even play keyboard and celebrate him. In two years. Somebody clap for Jesus. I'm not talking about ten years. Obedience. So that's why you see me celebrating Jesus and everything. Because even me, myself... I didn't see it like that. I always just did my father first and all of that. But now I did Jesus first. It was a few minutes ago that I started posting Bishop, my cousin, and then every other man out there. So happy Father's Day to all of you men that are watching and to my bishop, my cousin, my daddy, my grandpa. We love you guys. God bless all of you. But because I have done it for Jesus before going to sleep, I felt good. See what I'm saying? And a lot of my followers who saw that message. And so they kind of changed. Even my mother. To mommy, did you update silence about Jesus? She said, oh yes. You see, my mama did take my message. So I clap for my mother. It's good when your mother takes what you preach. You understand? Learns from it. Because you know some parents, they do like they know too much. Whether Holy Spirit is speaking to you or not, what they are telling you is what we need to listen to. <laughs> But my mother is not like that. So God bless all of you. So that's pretty much it. So the fasting, we're going to be live in the next um, four hours, which is 12 midnight, for our first prayer time for the fasting. It will be 12 p.m., 12 a.m. in the morning, 6, p 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. Every day from Monday to Sunday. Now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We are doing a 12 hour service. So at exactly 12, 6, 12, we'll be praying. But even after the prayer, we'll continue with worship, singing, whatever, preaching, and everything that we, testimonies and stuff, fellowshipping, those three days. So for those that are interested in coming, I already told you what to do. So I'm not going to stay too long. I have to go now so that I can do the one on one for those that came. And then we'll be back again in four hours. Make sure you share this. And make sure you eat all you need to eat now. <laughs> Let me advise you. If you eat too much before the fasting, you'll be hungry tomorrow. It's better you don't eat much. And you'll be fine. But meanwhile, before I give you this advice, do I have like dangerous? <laughs> do I have malt? Do I have ice cream? Everything, bring it. I'm not even taking my own advice, but just take it because it will help you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. God bless you guys. Bye bye. Tell them bye bye. Come on, show the studio. Bye. bye. We love you. All right. See you guys. Hallelujah.